master set from Daniel Smith, you will notice there are three greens. Why three greens? Because it's too hard to choose just one because they're all so different. And they're not like any other greens on the market, I have to say, and I've been painting for years. And I'm speaking as an artist that once never bought a green shade. I always believed if you mix different blues and yellows, you could get a wide variety of greens. And you could, and I did, until I discovered Daniel Smith. And I first fell in love with Cascade Green. I think I've told everyone about it on my workshops and I've taught internationally and they all love it too. Cascade Green. I like Green Appetite Genuine because it's very, very different. So we'll pop that here. And Undersea Green. I always try to say to people, do remember when you're working with watercolour, it is watercolour. So you should be using as much water as pigment. What I'm going to do is just get these colours to move around and show you how fabulous they are. I love these three greens. So here is my Cascade Green. Oh, it's happy to move into a wet area. If I wet the lower section and just touch it, a little bit more pigment down it'll just run and flow and I get some really beautiful patterns we're actually painting in my cottage and I live in the middle of nowhere so most of the time you have most relaxing quiet peaceful days and today because we're filming airplanes are flying over so you may hear the Occasional sound of one in the background. Sorry about that. I can't control the sky. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. That's Cascade Green. Look at this beautiful turquoise. It's like you're buying two colours in one. It's just stunning. I don't know any other range of watercolours that has shades that do things like that. I just find it so exciting. Of course, the next one here. This is Green Appetite Genuine, which I call a mossy green which is perfect for forest scenes and foliage but it'll interact quite nicely with the cascade green the more pigment I take into the wet area the more fun I'm going to have with it just let that run a little bit into the cascade green it's an incredibly hot day that we're filming with unusually so for UK it's quite funny because I always moan that it's too cold or too wet and I very rarely complain that it's too hot but today is quite a hot day so my colours are drying fast. So that's Green Appetite Genuine. And it will come out with little marks, little brown marks, as it dries, because it granulates a little bit. Very pretty. When you say Cascade Green is a shade, you don't expect that beautiful turquoise to turn out. But that's like no other blue I've got in my palette. It's just gorgeous. And then on this side, we've got Undersea Green. I love this one. It's got a depth to it and it dries differently. We'll let it just go in and meet the Green Appetite Genuine. And you can see they're all so different. And when you're painting foliage, you just go for a walk and look at greens and gardens, etc. They're all so different, so you do actually need this variety. There, we'll come down a little bit stronger with that one and let that run. Now, they're all very different. They're different beasts, I call them, different characters. But one thing that's in common, they do create patterns with water. In a way that my other green shades from, I hate saying it, from other ranges, they just don't hold that excitement for me. These are magical and I just can't live without them. So whether you're an abstract artist or you like painting things uh, in reality, these are the most beautiful colours. Look what's going on here. The more water you add, the more effects you get. Don't be scared of using that water. But the one thing I would say is if you do buy my master set, you're going to love colour as much as I do, and I really do. I hope you enjoy playing with them. Mm -hmm.